We are back in studio with Mickey Coach for Tahoe Iceman, our very local team. Yes, it's exciting and uh, we've had a great, great uh, crowd this year at all of our games. So I'm here to kind of talk about our playoffs and uh, the finishing uh, the last three regular season games. Tell me about the season. How has it been so far? I mean, you guys are obviously in playoffs, so it's been good. It's been good, but there's been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, we started off slow in the fall, but we kind of picked it up this second half and we're in second place right now, which has been a huge jump compared to the last couple of years. And last year we were in the bottom tier of our division, but this year we're in second place. So it's exciting. Making the way. Yeah. Yes, yes. Tell me about Tahoe Iceman. How long um, have you guys been around? The team's been around for five years. They started in San Francisco and then they uh, transitioned. They made the move to Tahoe. I've been the head coach for two years, so this is my second year as the head coach of the team. And so that's got to be exciting being able to see this transition of working your way up. Yes, it's very exciting. I mean, it's uh, been a lot of work, but it's I'm a local guy. I'm from Reno, Nevada, so to be able to coach a hockey team out west and that close to my home is uh, a true blessing. And you know, it's pretty crazy to think that this team started in San Francisco and only five years ago transitioned here to Tahoe, being a mountain town, a mountain community, because I'm from the East Coast and it's all about hockey, Yes. you know, so out sure. here it's definitely different. It is different. I mean, you don't hear about hockey. I hear, <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, I didn't even know we had this junior team up here and it's kind of grown in the last few years and now there's been 30 teams in this league. I think there's 25 now, so it's, uh, it's pretty exciting that hockey's growing out west. Tell me about your junior team mates and your members um, and kind of the goals moving ahead in terms of the collegiate level and then sure. possibly the NHL level. Yes, I mean, so these players are 16 and 20 years old and they all have aspirations to play college hockey and then after college hockey they'll have a chance of playing professional hockey and then we also have Europeans so a lot of those Europeans come over here and they play juniors and they go back home and they play in a professional league uh, in Europe. So it's uh, it's a route to get to one of those destinations. Any, any um, uh, teammates that you want to kind of highlight who's maybe done something extraordinary and taken those necessary steps and um, in the past couple of years the one kid I did coach was a kid named Ivan Radetzky and he was uh, he put a hundred points up in this league and then he went on to play um, in a professional league in the southeast and now he's in Canada and then we got a bunch of good players this year that will be moving on Paul Friss has a hundred points uh, he'll play college hockey and then he'll play probably professional and then Phil Heiss our captain is another older guy that's probably gonna move on so we have a good group of guys this year that I'm excited to see where their uh, careers take them. How cool. Now, playoffs, March 23rd, yes. we need a rally. We need as many people there <laughs> as we can possibly get into the building because um, the players feed off the crowd, and the yeah. crowd has been great this year. The Tahoe people have really supported the team, and we've put a good team on the ice, so they're exciting to watch, and it's a fun atmosphere, so we hope to get as many people as we can there. Give us a rundown for the weekend events. Sure. So we have three regular season games left. Uh, our final three will be up in Lake, uh, the Seattle area, and then we'll have a bye for the first round of playoffs and then another bye, and then we'll start uh, – our first round, which will be the second round of playoffs, but it'll be our first uh, playoff action. And then if we win, we move on. If we lose, we're done. So it's uh, it's kind of a sudden death, and then you just kind of play, and hopefully we can get the job done and move on. So that will be uh, starting Friday. Is that March 23rd? The 23rd, yep, okay. March 23rd, Friday, March 23rd, and it'll be a best of three series. Okay. So we got to win two games to move on, and, and that's what we're hoping to do. And so what color should we be rocking? White or blue. White or blue. Yes. Okay, yes. you got it. And then just bring energy. That's all we're looking for. As much energy as we can get in the building. Energy and excitement. Do we have any chants or cheers we need to know? Um, no. Our guy, uh, Rich Garcia, who's in the press box, usually will get the crowd going. So he'll kind of lead the way there. And then we just can feed off him. Awesome. Where can people find more information online? We can go to the, the Tahoe Iceman website. Okay. We have a Facebook page. We have a, a Twitter account, uh, an Instagram. Thankfully, I'm not involved in any of those. <laughs> um, but all the information can be found on the Tahoe Iceman website. Cool. Mickey, thank you so much for joining us in studio. Thank you, Megan. I cannot wait to actually meet, hopefully, some future NHL players. Yes. I'm going to get those signatures ahead of time. You have to. <laughs> Keep watching. More is coming up next.